Hi, welcome to America 2.0. This is our live, first live stream. Uh, I wanted to bring this to you from uh, in front of you live. Um, it has been reported on Discovery.tv that King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia, the Saudi Arabian king, is dead. And everybody's hoping this is not true, that this is some kind of publicity situation with growing threats in the region. We are all hoping this is not true. But as it is right now, we believe this to be true. It is an unfortunate situation. I looked forward to meeting this man. Uh, when I went to the Middle East, this was one of my guys I wanted to meet. Uh, not exactly um, a Disney World character of the world that you wanted, you know, that you had to meet one way or another, but uh, I wanted to meet him. Uh, I've heard good and bad things, but unfortunately, you know how the world is right now, it only reports the bad. Um, anyways, this is coming to you from Discover.tv, January 23, 2015, Saudi Arabian King Abdullah, the powerful U.S. ally who joined Washington's fight against Al-Qaeda and sought modernize the, uh, Muslim Kingdom, uh, with its significant reforms, including opening greater opportunities for women has died according to Saudi State TV so I will repeat this and these are my sources according to discovered.tv Saudi State TV and the Associated Press Saudi Arabian King Abdullah the powerful US ally is now confirmed dead uh, I wanted to meet this guy when I went to the Middle East. Uh, this is one of my guys that I wanted to meet, and it is an unfortunate situation. Uh, try to hang on one second. Uh, it just goes on to tell you a little about him. I do not want to read anything bad at this point about this man. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that prophecy because I'm not going to slander Islam. Even with good tidings, uh, Abdullah, the tenth king of Abdul Aziz, was born August 1, 1924. Uh, ascended the throne in 2005 following the death of his half brother, King Fahd. Uh, according to according to Shiite Hadiths, after the death of a king named Abdullah in the Hajiz, the western region of the present day Saudi Arabia, no successor to the throne would be accepted, and disagreements would escalate to persist. I disagree with that. I think they'll find a someone to fill the shoes hopefully soon. I, I, I don't want that to happen as quickly as you might think, but um, this is an unfortunate situation. And according to the book of 250 Signs until the appearance of Imam Mahdi, Prophet Muhammad said on Doomsday, a man who is carrying the name of an animal ascends to the throne after which a man named Abdullah comes to power. Whoever informs me of his death, I will inform him of the rise of Mahdi. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong, but that is what it says here. Let me, there we go. Let me see how that looks to you. Uh, it's still bad. One more.
There we go. Ah, I went back. Even I can't read that. I'm trying to stay in frame. Anyways, it's being brought to you live. Just so you can read this. Uh, best I can say. This is true. This is the quote I was just reading, I believe. Of Mahdi, after Abdullah passes away several days, months, days and months, the government will appear. And this happened on the day of doomsday. The clock was moved two minutes to midnight. I hope, I don't know whether or not this is true if the doomsday clock was moved, but according to this, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm trying to bring you this live. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. According to the doomsday clock, moved to two minutes. Trying to stay in frame so you can read this closer to midnight. What happens next? Um, you can go ahead and view this. Um, this is at disclosed.tv slash news slash the Saudi king is dead. Uh, 113200. Hang on. Okay, this is from right here. That's just my dog. She's uh, she wants to play, and I didn't want to initialize that. I want you to read this on, watch that on your own. But according to everything, this is the broadcast from this. I'm um, broadcasting this to you live. King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia is dead. From Discover TV. Thank you very much for this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry to have to bring this to you. America 2.0 out.